Welcome back to Let's Play NHL 15 via GM Colorado Avalanche into our 21st season, the 2034-2035. So we only have five left. Now I have first overall pick. Nice, I don't have to trade up to get it. Okay, and I said I had an idea, and here is my idea. I'm going to trade, <coughs> if possible, I think it is. Sundukov here for uh, what's his face? McHugh. Wow, that. Ooh, he's making 12 million though. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I want to try this guy in my lineup, and Sundukov is getting older, so, and I think McHugh is. Um, He's like only 27 right now, so five years he'll be 32, so you know, he'll still be in good shape. So that is my plan, and Boston might actually have to add something. And what I can do, uh, well they want to get rid of their first. Can you give, whoops, not their second. Give them me their first next year for my one of my firsts, I guess. Washington's. That should work. Oh wait, no, it won't. Their first round pick next year is pretty valuable, so I'll throw in like. Actually, I'm gonna have to give them something better instead. Huh? No, I said give them Tampa's. Oh. Can I give them another player they would want? Like Vero. Or Jokinen. No, he's about to expire, right? Oh no, I just signed him. I don't want to give Vero up, I guess. How about Wingles? There we go. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm gonna... Oh, crap! I need to make a pick. I forgot I'm on the clock. Let's call a timeout. Let's go to our scouted players. I'm gonna pick with the first overall. Let's see, Ardelio, some guy from like Romania. Okay, we have Knight and Oda here. So Oda is a grinder and franchise grinder. Uh, I don't think so. And we have Knight here, who's a sniper. Glenn Knight. There might be other players that we didn't scout, but I think I might just go for that knight guy. <laughs> How come I can't go back here? Okay, there we go. Make pick. Let me just make sure that I'm picking the right guy. There might be like a franchise goalie or something, I don't know. So not Oda, I don't want a grinder. see here. Oh, there's Corvax here. He's also a grinder. Don't want him. So there's Knight, a guy from Switzerland. I said before that, oh, we have some uh, defensemen here. Sacido and Pius. And goalies. Top 10. So I think my defense is set. I might just take a right winger here. I'll take Knight. Yes. Okay. Now let me get rid of the rest of my stuff. I guess. I have, how do I have 94 million in salary? I thought I would... Oh, wait. I guess that's with my expiring contracts, too. 
That makes sense then. Okay, so, um, draft picks. I'll just keep trading them forward. Winnipeg for Boston, maybe. Not this year's. I already got their next year's. So. How about this? Two picks. Rejected. Alright, they want my third. Fine, have it. Eh? Really? Okay, well... Well then, I'll give you something less valuable. Like Washington. That's about even. Washington plus my third? Really? Do they have any good rookies? No, I don't really care that much anymore. Top nine forward. Downey. Um, you know, I'll go with someone else. Then. Let's see. Chicago wants to get rid of their picks. Whoops. Kellumbet. Oh, Hadar here. Two way forward elite. Sure, why not? Huh? Really? What happened to trade value? It's like, gone crazy. Who's this Arnuk guy? Oh, that guy got from Nashville. His value went down. Well, not his value, but his potential went down. I don't know why that didn't go through. I guess they don't want it. How about Dallas? No, that's not gonna work. Detroit. That's not gonna work. Edmonton, maybe. No. LA should have pretty low trade value. That should work. Or not. Oh, okay, good. LA's. Oh, I should have traded them their own. I'll give LA's to Minnesota. Really? Okay. Are you interested in your first? <laughs> All right, Montreal. They're definitely not going to be interested. New Jersey, maybe. Oh, their value's not that high. It's about the same. How about Los Angeles and a fourth? How about Los Angeles and two fourths? Okay, good. Now I have some better ones here. So who was I dealing with before? I think it was Chicago. No! I'm not gonna reset the game for that. I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, 
trying to get to rookie skaters and check out this Hadar guy. He's player ha player Hadar. Player Hadar. <laughs> Something like this. Rejected. If they don't really want any more draft picks. Do they want any skaters? Yes, they do. Usalius, uh, his contract's expiring. <laughs> How about Chance? They don't want to give up on Hadar for some reason. Okay, um. Hendrickson. No, I don't want to give up on him. He might be good, like, bottom defense spotter. There we go, Rivers. Really? Come on, Chicago. What's... What more do you want? I'm giving you a ton of good stuff here. Try some other team. Just look at the rookies here. Nightingale. <laughs> cool. Ooh, Mr. Nightingale. Oh, Knights. Wait. Is that the guy I picked? guy? I just picked him, right? I can trade him? I didn't think he could do that. Oh well. Okay, they want my draft pick. That's good. Probably don't want to give up theirs. I need to add something. Serious. Not Ranger. Not Hatcher. Hendrickson, maybe? No. Yokinen. Okay, cool. Okay, Edmonton. Might need to get rid of some of my goalies too. Slukla. Sluka. Hey, Mr. Sluka. Take him. Oh, no way, not this one. down in value later. Here we go. 2037. <laughs> okay, good. There we go. Sim to user pick. I think we got a good player in the draft. He's high Whatever. High elite.
M. Affinigenov. Okay, center, left wing. Bottom six, Della Roveri. Sure, why not? How many more picks do I have? Maybe I should just get rid of them. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. It's not Anaheim, uh, Montreal. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna turn your team around with that one there, Montreal. <laughs> Dumbasses. Ooh, the gift horse, blah blah blah. Hmm, two undrafted guys. K. Montador from S. Goudreau. Serge Goudreau. <laughs> uh, no, I don't need a goalie. I don't really need a crappy defense, but we'll take McCollum. There we go, done with the draft. Three picks, one of them really good. The other two, I don't know. G Knight, yay! Send to resign, please. Twelve players that are restricted free agents, including Noah Ranford and Stefan Lott. Eep. Okay, I'm gonna sign the most important players first, which are Hughes. He won the. Oh, he's already. Whoa. 13 million, 11 million. Oh, 11 million is not bad. Eklund, 8 million. That's really not so bad at all. I can fit all that in. 44 million in cap space. <laughs> Oh boy. Let's see. Let's go UFA first. Anyone who is absolutely imperative to sign? No, not really. I want to sign McKinnon. How much does he want? I'll go for a two-way? Okay. I don't know why he wants that. I don't know why he's not retiring. Okay, um... RFAs. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go goalies first. Definitely, definitely need to get this guy. Okay, how about Hopkins and the other guy? How much do they want? Two, three, four. Oh, I have to get my calculator, don't I? Okay. Maybe I'll take Newton Hopkins and the other guy for two more years. Let's see which one works out, if at all. Um, okay, calculator. 1.575 times 0.85 is 1.338. Oops, 1.4, I guess. Oh, no, 1.35. Boss, how much do you want? Uh oh, wait. Did I screw up? I think I did. <laughs> Might have to re sign, re offer to uh, Nugent Hopkins. 
1.51. Buy him out! No, okay. Lautner. 94 overall. Holy cow. 8 years, 14.75. I'll get him for his cheapest. Four is not unreasonable. Okay, I'll give him for four years. 11.425 times 0.85. Under 10 million, nice. 9.725. Oops, 9.725. All right, cool. Any UFA goalies? Oh, Lamoureux. You can go F yourself. Okay, all skaters and RFA. Okay, so Eklund, Hughes, and Ranford are my top priorities. Popovich, I can let go. Hughes won, I think. Four, five, six, one, two, three. Uh, I'll go two for now. Ten point, ten point three times point eight five. So eight point seven five five. How much is ten point eight? 10.85 times 0 0.85. 9.22. Yeah, I'll go 10. 10.3. Get him under 9. 8.755. 8 8.775. And Eklund, I don't think he wants, he wants like 8 million or something like that. 8.25, so I'll go 8.45, give him what he wants. 0.85 is 7.18, so 7.2. No, don't give him the extra 250 million. Come on, you need to be a hard ass. Okay, and Popovich, no. Ramford, definitely. 13 million. Man. <laughs> okay, um, 13.15. Times 0 0.85, 11.175. That's not horrible. Really. That's 11.2. And then uh, unsigned. Let's see. I want to sign Knight here. And then Arna, I wanna. He's pretty good. I might give him one more year. That might make sense. So I'm at 37 contracts now. Let me see what the damage is now. Okay. And I have McDavid for one more year after this. So his huge salary is still going to be on the books. Unless he retires at the end of this season, because he's not really in our main squad anymore. McKinnon. Yeah, I screwed up the Nugent Hopkins one. Okay, that's fine.
I can redo it. Oh, I still have 11 million left. Okay, good. So let's go goalies. Sorry, Nugent Hopkins, for screwing up your contract. 1.525. There we go. Oh, wait. I have this leech guy who's pretty damn good. Well, he's RFA, so I can just trade him when I need to. Oh, wait, I need to do my other UFAs and RFAs. Let's see here. Popovich, how much does he want? 6.6 .6 million. Um, I still need to get another good center, so... I'm afraid I'm going to have to trade him. Okay, uh, what about Warner? How much does he want? 4 years, sure. Not a bad deal for him. He could get better. 1.225. Even worth doing that, I mean, 1.05. That's basic. I can stick him in the minors and really won't count. What about Atalo? Okay, so I can get him for even less, but I'll give him 1.05. 1 1.05. 1 I'm at 39 now. What about Springens? Jerry Springens. Eh, yeah, defense seemed to be more expensive. So I'll give him 1.125. That should work. Saric, do you want a two-way? No, he doesn't. What about 40? Okay, cool. And then I'll qualify this guy. And then go to my UFAs. I don't think I need anybody here. 41 contracts. Well, I still have Davidson, but uh, he don't, I don't need him. Husalius, I really don't need him. How much does he want? 3.4 million, no way. Slaney and Messier. How much does Messier want? Uh, sure, why not? So I'm at 42 now. I don't really need any of these other guys. Release and release. Thank you. There we go. Now I'm not at salary floor trouble anymore. I thought the salary cap went up to like 116 or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Let's just make sure we got everybody. I think our team is going to be even better next year. Even though we're losing that one defenseman, we have like a million to replace them. <laughs> Yay, Jerry Nugent Hopkins. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go to free agent frenzy. Oops. Uh, July 1st is on a Saturday, so no holiday for you, Canada. You must work. 
all week. Ha <laughs> ha If July 1st is on a Saturday, does, do people in Canada get holidays? They get like the 30th off or the 3rd off? Something like that? Or is it just like, eh, too bad it's on a Saturday. You don't get to stay home from work. Although in 2034, it's gonna be labor workforce and all that stuff is gonna be really different. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the draft results. So Montreal drafted second. I don't want all skaters. I want rookie skaters. Okay, Anaheim doesn't really have anybody. Ours. Nope. Downey and Aston. Whatever. No one in Boston. Buffalo. K. Rowe. B. Kolzig. Hmm. Nah. Sprang. Seems like the game's pumping out a lot more elite players. Hey Dar, wasn't I trying to get him? I was. They don't apparently want to give him up. Detroit. I might go back to Chicago with my RFA guys. Tukio. Whoa, Tukio is pretty good. Oh wait, I didn't draft the Chinese guy. <laughs> I forget his name. I don't really care. Hmm. Le Neveu and Co Kovacs. Marvin Kovacs. Oh, he's that grinder guy. Card. <laughs> what a name. Blake Card. 2033, 2034. Not bad for Montreal there. B Petrie and B Card. Can I try picking them up? Only one of the guys is signed. What about my RFA guy? Yeah, there's Sarge, but... There's a defense, so I can just go there. Popovich. Wow. My top six is good if... Well, it would be good if I signed Popovich. Even if I don't, Crosby's going to get pretty damn good. Popovich and... My first. Huh? Really? They don't want to do that? Are they crazy? Somehow the trading block's kind of gone wacko. What about this river as well? Okay, cool. Back to rookie skaters. Oh, they have the other Crosby. C. Crosby. Two years left. That is entry level. They want to get rid of Pispernin.
How about something like this? And then I can give them Sarich who they don't want. And Man, I got a lot of draft picks. <laughs> Maybe Minnesota's? I don't know why Minnesota's is so valuable. Rejected! The Kiev? I don't really even need this guy anymore. Only has a year left, so... Nashville. Nobody. Islanders. Genoa. Nah. Rangers. No. Ottawa. I'm already kind of getting all these guys. Oda. Oh, they took Oda. Okay. Where did he fall to? Fifth overall. Okay. He was like a grinder too, wasn't he? Don't need no grinders. Pittsburgh. Stupid Pittsburgh. V. Sestito. Hmm. Not bad. Where did he go? Third? Okay. Well, he's 22, so... Or 20 years old. So he's pretty old. C. Anthony. Huh. Uh, nah. Uh, nah. Muir. Yeah, I don't really need those guys. Rush, Winnipeg, Parish. Okay. And Washington, nobody. What about goalies? Why bother? <laughs> There's only one guy who was top 10. Probably not this guy. Oh man. It'd be great if this guy's first name was Hugh. Victor Jass. Hugh Jass. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hugh Jass. Uh, hi. Well, who am I talking to? This is Bart Simpson. And what can I do for you? Listen, I'm gonna level with you. This is a prank call that went horribly wrong, and I'm gonna bail right now. Well, alright. What a nice young fellow. Johnny Boychuk. Granato. No great uh, rookie go go Oh, they took Gaudreau. NHL starter. Huh. Sales Gaudreau. I guess that wouldn't have been a waste of a third pick. LA's like right at the cap. Holy cow. No rookie goalies in mini. Yeah, there uh, for goalies, there was really only that guy I got from Detroit that really stuck out in the last little while. I mean there's not really even any elite guys. I did get that guy in free agency, who was elite. Okay, and Toronto, Vancouver, Winnipeg, almost done, and then I'll go to the season. Oh wait, I have to go to free agent signings. I'm guessing that guy I 
Tuck is going to be one of the highest free agents. That guy I paid seven and a half million dollars to, but I probably should have paid him more. Because I was in real salary cap trouble. I could have just given him like maximum salary. Oh, Popovich, yeah. Okay, let me go forwards here. How much does Husseilis want? 4.3 mil. Wow, Popovich wants seven million? I don't think so. Uh, these guys are expensive. They're not very good players. <laughs> Nobody's gonna pay them that. Oh, here we go. Dalil and Hoodler. Some idiot didn't sign Hoodler? There's two S Deleels? That's really confusing. Stefan Delil. What about this guy? Simon Delil. <laughs> okay, I guess they're brothers. Let's see defense. Wait, do I have enough contract room? I'll have to check. Popovich! Oh wait. Uh there's Necker. I mean Nuts Cash. <laughs> I don't know how you get Nuts Cash from Necker. <laughs> Necker. Let's see goalies. How about Franzen? He, he looks pretty good. I don't know if I have enough room for him. Franzen and guard. B guard. So I just picked up, so that's four contracts. I might need to trade some goalies. I don't even need those damn goalies, what am I thinking? Yeah, okay, uh, Gagne, you can leave. So I'll have room for two more. Gagne for, pff, I don't know. I'll give them Gagne. Ah, uh, they don't want to give up their picks. What about Boston? Boston does. Can I get a second? I don't really care. Rejected! Accepted! Alrighty! Oh, I'm missing a lot of left wings. Maybe some of the players I signed were left wings. I wasn't paying attention. Let's go to July, I mean, October 3rd. Alrighty! Simulate there! Rock guard. Yay! Everyone accepted my generous offer. You can expect perks of being on a very good team. Yes, yes. Uh, and we're even improved from last year, probably. Sundukov was great, but... Now I have, like... The two guys who had the most goals in the NHL. <laughs> Hopefully my center can uh, 
uh, what's his face? Eklund can do well between them. Hopefully he develops. Or maybe he can go back up to a franchise potential. Probably not, but you never know. So I don't have McDavid anymore. But what a ride we had. I wonder what McDavid's rating is now. He's making $8 million, but he's not going to contribute much. I can't hide him in the minors either. I don't want to hide him in the minors. Or I don't know if I can hide him in the minors or not. Not like I need to. Okay, let's check out... Uh, we're gonna sign our scout. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah. I just want to see something. Oh, they still have Belfour, but, wow, his overall and potential went way down. He only has two years left, so probably retire after that. Looks like I sold at the right time. Okay, and let's check our roster. Uh, all blank faces. Is McDavid still on our team? <laughs> Holy crap, that's terrible. That's a terrible lineup. What are you doing, coach? Oh boy, I'm gonna need to fix that. That's a good defense, though. Holy cow. Tilios. Luongo, Hughes, and Schaefer. Schaefer's getting kind of old. But that's okay. I can get rid of him if I need to. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, roster moves. Let's do this first, because this is ridiculous. Let's go goalies. Oh, gosh. I don't need either of them. Leech, holy cow. Yay. Okay. Now, skaters. Okay. Boo, Connor McDavid's 75 now. Holy crap. I'm gonna need a lot of guys from the system to come up. Hatcher, definitely. Lampman, definitely. Vero, definitely. Like, why are these guys in the minors? Seriously. I'll keep Connor McDavid up. He can just, like, sit on the sidelines. Brody, goodbye. And in the system. Whoa, Crosby. The Crosbys. Yeah, let's bring Crosby up. <laughs> bring both of the Crosbys up. Okay, NHL. I guess I don't need that one defenseman, Spriggins. 
and Warner. There we go. Damn, that's a pretty good lineup. <laughs> Much better. And McDavid's still there. <laughs> 37 years old. He doesn't look 37. Telios, Crosby. I wish the other Crosby was playing, but. Can't have everything you want, I guess. Alright, that looks good. Who's our captain and things like that? McHugh is an alternate already. Okay. Schaefer and Olsen. Okay, looks good. I might want to trade Schaefer though. How much? Uh, I don't think I can look at it from there. But if Schaefer is up for free agency, although I might have just signed him. Probably looking here. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to be free agent. Do I have any UFAs coming up? Bets? Don't care. Crosby. I want to keep Crosby <laughs> for some reason. Seidenberg. Okay. He's going to want a lot of money, so... Maybe I should trade him. Sounds good. What about... In the system... <laughs> This is going to be nuts, I think. McCarthy, McKinnon, Murata... Nobody really. Arnott, he's going to get his U... or I guess his... ELC. Same thing with Petrie. Wow, Petrie's... Holy cow, where did I pick him up from? Oh yeah, I, got, I traded him. From, like, Edmonton or something. Oh, Montreal. Okay. Seidenberg. Let me just trade him now for someone. Who's trade? I'll find a good defensive prospect too. It's about the same value. Seidenberg for Briere. Two years left. But not bad. Maybe I can find someone better. Axelson. No, he's probably making a crap ton of money. Yeah, I don't think so. Someone younger. Roe. Roe v. Wade. You know what, actually, I like that guy here. Seems perfect. Rear. And then they can add, like, something. Any other decent rookie skaters? Lewis. Cool. There we go. All right. Hopefully I don't have to do all this crap again. Doesn't... Why is Lewis on our team here? Yay! Crosby Brothers! <laughs> Willie and Clinton. Crosby's sons! <laughs> They're both defensemen. Uh, yeah, um, Laurent Louis, you shouldn't be here right now. I'm gonna replace you with him. Connor McDavid can still play at 37. I mean, why not? 
All right. Finally, let's get on with the season. I think for the rest of the few seasons that I have left, I might just try to draft first overall every year. Maybe I can get rid of all my draft picks that way. My stock of draft picks, or first round picks. Okay, we're just going to steamroll everybody this year. Or not. <laughs> but with the salary cap going up, I mean, it's easier to keep our team because the player salaries haven't really gone up that much. Yeah, that's better. What happened to our goalie? I mean, his goals against average was like 1.5 last year. Although for some reason he was sharing starting duties with that other guy. Woo! Philadelphia's doing good. Ouch! Okay, so... Steamroller's a bit stalled here for some reason. We need to turn the key the other way. Maybe fill it up with some gas. Come on. Okay. 3-2. That's not good. I want to see like 10 nothing. San Jose, same record as us. There we go, 5-3, that's better. Yeah, our offense hasn't really clicked yet, but I'm sure it will. Yeah, big win over Pittsburgh. No way, I'm not giving you my South Korean dude. Griffith, didn't we have him before? I need my South Korean dude. Yeah, three nothing. That's better. Haha, <laughs> you couldn't avenge your cup loss. Neener, neener, neener. Good year for rookies. B Ross for no way. I'm not taking on that kind of salary for Bob Ross. He's our happy little goalie. Unlike, unlike, that guy's first name, Sergei Bobrovs, Bobrovsky. In Soviet Russia, happy little trees paint you. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep my happy little goalie. And I want to keep Ryan Nugent Hopkins' son or younger, younger, younger brother, slash cousin, slash nephew. Man, we suck. What's going on? Maybe I shouldn't have traded some Dukov. He's probably killing it in Boston. Oh my gosh. No. Oh wait, it's our boss. I forgot can't have the boss. He was named after Bruce Springsteen. Oh wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Undercover boss. Yay! Oh, there we go. That's a good win. 12 to 2. Hell yeah. Now we're starting to show that we mean business. Let 
I mean, we have great defense, great goaltending, great forwards. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's Connor McDavid! Maybe it's that we don't have McKinnon on our team. He's on a two-way. <laughs> Playing in the AHL for some reason. Making like minimum salary. I don't understand why he's doing that. And then the other guy we had, Orlando Drury, retired for some reason. I guess if he couldn't play for the Avalanche, he didn't want to play at all. Oh, stupid Winnipeg. I'm always losing to them. Come on, let's go on a massive win streak here. No! Go away, Montreal. All your goalies are belong to me. Alright, another win against Anaheim and Edmonton. Our last game with them this year, pending playoff positioning. Can we go... Can we win the series? Yeah! 10 to 1, nice. We've had two really massive wins. I guess we like playing on Saturdays with odd numbers for some reason. Oh, crying out loud. Okay, I don't care. All right, Dallas. Chicago. See how Boston's doing. Six one win, two one win, nice. Okay, USA. See how Florida's doing. Can they pick it up, actually? No, they can't. Poor Florida. Oh, man, they beat us. Poor Colorado. <laughs> At Tempo. Tempo is not very good, but they beat us. That means we're going to beat Boston, right? Because Boston is probably, like, crazy good this year. Yep. And we beat Boston. See, we like, we like odd Saturdays. Odd-numbered Saturdays. We have really big wins those days. Yay! Kai Yoensu. Uh, no. Somebody... Well, nobody's gonna pick him up. No! He's the boss. He tells me where he wants to go. Well, I guess I'm, they're telling me to trade that because I have too many one-way goalies. Too many goalies on one-way contracts. Yeah! Big win over the Penguins! Okay... Sweden! Sweden, go buy some H&M clothes. Go buy some poor quality H&M clothes for our team. And then give it to the other team. <laughs> oh no, not the Coyotes. Not the Coyotes! No! 
L. Come on, show the L. Oh, that's better. 7-1 win. All right, we've quietly put together a five-game win streak, which will be broken by Calgary. And, oh, no. Okay, it will be broken by Florida. Ha <laughs> ha, I was right. You think about what you've done for three days. Come on, Patrick Waugh, bag skate them. They deserve it. There we go. Another big 7-1 to win. I don't think we're in first in the central. St. Louis is. Ah, oh, they're... They have two more points than us, but they've played two more games. Oh ho Okay. Scouted players. R. Rodriguez. R. Rod. <laughs> Sign R. Rod. Okay, Boma. Yannick. Another Telios? He's a forward. McElrath. That's a cool name, McElrath. And Sarah Palin's kid. Lucas Palin. Or maybe it's Bristol Palin's kid. <laughs> she ran off to Canada and had a kid who played junior hockey. Or maybe it's the 14-year-olds. The one that David Letterman made the joke about. Or maybe it's Michael Palin's kid. He had some illegitimate kid when he was filming Around the World in 80 Days, although if that were the case, that kid would be like 60 years old now. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Let's go to trade deadline day. Where we face the Washington Capitals who have fallen down from their 6-1 start. Oh, Mr. Scout. Perfectly annoying timing. A lot of forwards this year. Interesting. Yay! All right, we're creeping back into territory where we want to be. I think we're in first place in the central now. Oh, ouch. 9-4 loss. That's bad. We can't seem to get above a 666 win percentage. Dallas. We own Dallas. I hope we face them in the first round again. Alright, big win against Winnipeg. But I don't know. Well, actually, Minnesota is doing well enough. We could like have Dallas in the first round, and then Minnesota in the second round again. For like the 12th year in a row. Actually, there, it was broken up one year with Chicago, where we just got completely blown out in the first round by them. Ugh, that was embarrassing. Embarrassing! Kill Chicago! Burn their tribe! Treat them like we treated the Native Americans back in the 18th century. Or 19th century, or whenever. <laughs> no, don't do that. It's not... It's not nice. Not nice at all. Hmm. Ah, no rest of wood, guys. No! Go away, Montreal. I'm not helping you escape from your cellar in the standings. Especially after you've won the Stanley Cup. 
brought it back to Canada. Ooh, we're so special. We speak French. Blah, blah, blah. How's St. Louis doing? They fell down quite a bit. We have 60 points. They have 56. But they must have played a lot more games than us. Yay! 2-1 win. Very close win. Wow, we put together an 8-game or 7-game win streak. Nice. Picking it up at the end of the year. I think that's what happened last year, too. We didn't start out that well, but then we went on a two-game losing streak. Urgh. I just did Russia, so... National League. Whatever. By the time we face St. Louis again, we might be in second place again. Oh, Montreal's above 500 for now. Ha ha ha! Back down with you, Canadians. And the crowd in Boston goes wild. Yay! No. Ah, Boston fell down quite a bit. Sundikov not working out for you guys? Well, that's a shame. Alright, Buffalo. Buffalo. We lose to Buffalo. Ouch. And St. Louis is nipping at our ass. But they're only like... Oh, they are 12 games over 500, so are we. Ha ha ha. No, wait, we're 17 games. We were 18 games over 500. Not, my subtraction skills have somehow left my brain. Thirty-four minus fifteen is nineteen. Chubarov, no. Chicago, they're doing a bit better. Get back down to five hundred. Oh, damn. No. When's the trade deadline already? Crying out loud. Ah, Detroit sucks. Yay! No! Go away. I'm not trading you my South Korean player. Wonder how the Crosby boys are doing on our bottom six defense. Our third pairing. I should trade them to Pittsburgh, though. <laughs> That'd be funny. But they're good players, so I don't want to trade them to Pittsburgh. I've already given Pittsburgh enough good players. They should be down on their knees, kissing my ass. I basically handed them two Stanley Cups. Because I played them for it, and they beat me. <laughs> okay... Montreal keeps trying to get up, but we keep knocking them back down. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Maple Leafs. Wow, it's like close to a hundred years and they still haven't won a Stanley Cup. <laughs> it was like 1967, I think. Oh, and they beat us. Guess I shouldn't have taunted them like that. <laughs> so 1967, so... 68 years. <laughs> 
No nothing's gonna change this year. Sorry, Toronto fans. You will have to wait more than a century. It's like that Simpsons episode where Mr. Burns hits Bar Bart with the car and he goes down to hell and he's talking to Satan and Satan's like, Bart Simpson, you're not supposed to be here until the Yankees win the pennant again. That's not supposed to be for a hundred years. And then like three years later, or I guess four or five years later from that episode, the Yankees won the World Series. You know, if hockey was more popular, you could have said like the Toronto Maple Leafs. Maybe Steinbrenner made a deal with the devil. And then the de and then the devil gave them A-Rod. <laughs> Although I guess they did win a World Series with A-Rod. Whoa. Oh, that was my record. I thought Dallas was doing well. What? what what's going on with the stars? Now uh, we own the stars! All right, we're pretty clear of St. Louis now. Yeah, can't beat us. They would have beat us a few times, things would be different. Okay, Chicago again. Oh no, Arizona again. No. Oh, come on, Six, you can't come soon enough. All right, one nothing win. No, sorry, Florida. Vancouver. No, you're not having my boss. Nice. Nice win over Vancouver. No, Smirnov, no, edit scouting assignment, yes. No, throw it. Throw it now! <laughs> Washington Capitals. Trade deadline, two D. We're at 90 points. A little bit lower than I, where I'd like to be. Uh, Minnesota's okay. Dallas is in last place, so they're not making the playoffs this year, likely. Okay, let's check our scouting, and then we'll check our stats and all that stuff. See if there's any franchise players that we can scout right now. Get rid of Palin. That's what John McCain should have done. Get rid of Palin. I don't know, maybe that's what they were trying to do. Oh, who's this guy? Shields. Ian Shields from Hungary. Maybe what's, that's what the Republicans were trying to do, like... You know, after Bush screwed everything up... Then... They thought they were going to lose the election to Obama, but then it got closer than it expected, so then... That's why they picked Sarah Palin to make sure that they would lose so that after the economy collapsed and everybody's unemployed that the next president would take all the blame and then you know four years later or eight years later the Republicans can say see they didn't do anything come back to us so maybe that's what happened. Uh, what's his face? John McCain was just a patsy. Oh, I, I forgot to check my stats. I don't care. He was just a patsy. <laughs> but then they didn't win in 2012 either, so... And things do seem to be getting better. I suppose. 2016, you know, it's, it's 
still two years away. Although, last election, the midterms, I guess, Democrats didn't do so well. Not like I really care. <laughs> Not like it makes a huge difference. I mean, neither parties are really that great, in my opinion. Did we just lose two in a row? No, we didn't. We beat the Islanders. Yay! Let's see. Can we finish the season 11 and 2? I want to finish the season without an overtime loss. That would be neato. Okay, Quebec. So we have 12 games left. Go ten and two. And Washington revenged us, I guess, on the trade deadline day. Yay, four nothing. We have like three shutouts this month. It's crazy. Our goalies uh yeah. For our goalie situation, our main guy, Lautner, he better be getting the full duty this year. Still don't know why it was split up last year between him and that Lam Lamura or whatever the hell his name was. That guy kicked to the street. Alright, 6-2 win over Ottawa. Arizona beat them. We still have one more game against Arizona. Kill the Coyotes. Make sure they don't make the playoffs. Yay! Then we have a tough back-to-back. -to -back. Calgary and St. Louis, or San Jose. Calgary and San Jose. St. Jose. St. Joe. Probably not going to be able to... Oh, okay, I'll see the result from Calgary, but I won't see the result from San Jose, but that's okay, because we won! Yay! Arizona. Beat them. Sweep the series. No, Mr. Scout. Why now? You're interrupting me, firing up the troops for the Coyotes game. A lot of you don't remember the battles we've had with the Coyotes. But I do. And they were gruesome. They may have had our number during the regular season, and in the conference finals three years in a row. But ultimately, we prevailed. And that's why we must prevail tonight. Even though tonight was three days ago. And you did prevail. Good job. Now beat Nashville, Minnesota, LA, Vancouver, and Minnesota. Bring home the President's Trophy. And I'll kiss every single one of you. Nice. Beat Minnesota. It's quite the win streak at the end of the year. Um, any... Oh, Russia had a lot of defense. I think we're on like a 10 game win streak or something. And as soon as I notice it, we lose to L.A., right? Oh no, we beat L.A. quite handily. Vancouver... Who will not make the playoffs? Man, man. And because I gloated, we'll lose to Vancouver. Or win. Yay! Last game, Minnesota. Okay, it's our second 60 win season in a row. Or is it our third? I don't know. 
Nice. How many wins is that? Okay, it's six in March, April. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 14 game win streak to end the season. That's crazy, man. I'm not sure if all of them were regulation. Minnesota second again, but we get like St. Louis or Chicago or I don't know. 128 points. Yowza. Yowza, yowza. Fifty-seven goals, fifty-nine goals. Eklund had only sixty-nine assists. Wow, Hughes was over a point per game. Rudy Hughes! He might win the whatever trophy again. Ranford, Lampinen. Didn't I have someone else? Oh no, I Oh yeah, I don't have a second line right winger yet. Hmm. Okay, um goalies. Oh, they split the duties again. Why? Why are they doing that? I have a franchise goalie. He should be playing every single game. Stupid game. Oh well. Let's see, were there any other goalies who might have stolen the Vezina from one of my guys? I can trade Leech later. Rawlings is still playing. Not doing bad either. Leech, Cox, <laughs> Cox, Clint Cox. <laughs> if you take the N out of his first name, <laughs> that'd be a pretty funny name. <laughs> like a very scary name. <laughs> okay, let's see. Points. Nice. Olsen, McHugh. Kemp had the most goals. Cedric Kemp. Oh. He's one year younger than McHugh, but that's okay. Viatar. Okay. Did good for Toronto. Daggone it! Henrik Ekwon. Nice. Oh, Sure. Carl Sure. <laughs> I was gonna draft him, but nah. I guess Toronto did well this year then. Stupid Kemp. But I guess my guys split the goals between them. Oh, we gotta play Chicago in the first round again. Oh man. Why does the Pacific Division suck so much? Calgary won the division with 94 points. LA is going in with 85 points. That's pathetic. Would that have even made the playoffs in... Uh, I guess they would have been... Oh no, we get... Wait, yeah. We get Chicago. Instead of Edmonton. Or Los Angeles. Okay, let's see the entire league. I'm guessing we won the President's Trophy quite handily. Pittsburgh was second. Who was last place? Rangers, Stars, I don't think I had any of their draft picks. Oh well. So let's just do the scouting crap first and then go to the playoffs. I'll check the playoff tree too. I've got someone named Huberdo pinned. Oh, okay. Remove! But I haven't seen any franchise projection players. But no one's ever really franchised. I mean, they always go way down to like top five or elite or whatever. Kalin, Gamelin, Kobu. Oh, whatever. 
High shields. Okay, let's see the playoff tree here. Oh wait, I have to end the regular season first. The regular season has ended, and we get Chicago! Yay! We're gonna lose! We're gonna get our ass kicked! Playoff tree. Calgary, St. Louis. Anaheim, LA. Colorado, Chicago. Mini, Nashville. Toronto made the playoffs. Wow, they're first in the uh, Atlantic. Yeah, that's it. And Tampa and Florida. Boston didn't make the playoffs? That's strange. I guess Sundukov didn't do very well in Boston. Maybe he'll retire after the season. Oh, I want to play back in Colorado. <laughs> Why did they train me? I was doing so well. What did I ever do to deserve this? Oh, for crying out loud. It's happening. It's happening. That's better. Maybe this is just like Dallas last year, you know, we lose game one and then win games two through five. Okay, game three. Yay! Scout. I knew it! I knew you were going to come in and bust up my parade. Okay, are there? Should I bother scouting goalies? Why not? Alright, Chicago. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Sayonara. And au revoir. Vaya con Dios. Monsignor BM has vanquished the Blackhawks. Nashville! Alright, no Minnesota. <laughs> uh, okay, let's check out our stats here. Hopefully Nashville doesn't thwart us. Player stats. McHugh, nice. Lampman, nice. Ranford, nice. Hatcher, nice. Oh, he's turning out pretty good. Hughes. Olsen, come on, you gotta pick it up here. Alright, Luongo. Luongo's doing good. Goalies. Lautner's not doing great. He can do better. He picks it up, we're unstoppable. Alrighty. Calendar Nashville. Go here. Oh no! Okay, same thing as Chicago. No, that's not the same thing as Chicago. Okay, that works. Kinda. Okay, goalies. Come on, win. Win. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Calgary Flames. Ooh. They came out of the Pacific, I guess. Came out rocking. Alright, Russian goalies. But usually if there's a good goalie, they, they appear even if you're not a scouting goalies. Okay. So we've got the Calgary Flames now. Oh, I forgot to check the playoff tree. 
Let's see what the East final looks like. Toronto and Pittsburgh. Ouch. Looks like we're going to have another Colorado-Pittsburgh final. <laughs> uh, uh. Maybe, Cal maybe Calgary-Toronto. That would be crazy. I was taunting Toronto, but maybe... Wow. McHugh's really doing it for us. Where's Eklund? How come he's not playing well? Let's see. Goalies. Leach. He had some good relief for Lautner, who struggled a bit at the early part of the series. But we can forgive him because we were able to pull out a win against Nashville in seven games. All right, let's go. Calgary's eight and four now. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. And oh, scout. Scouty Scout. Let's see, three in Ontario. Okay. 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 Can we sweep Calgary? No. That's all right. No. That's all right. Still. There we go. Took six, but we did it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, freaking Pittsburgh. They must have beat Toronto in seven. No, they didn't beat Toronto in seven. They were waiting for our series to finish. Let's just check out our stats here. Let's see if Equin started to pick it up. Whoa, McHugh and Olsen are going nuts here. So is Hughes. Hughes rules. Eklund and Hatcher. Wow, he's up to an 89 on him. Nice. W. Crosby. Willie Crosby. Where's the other Crosby? Quinton Crosby. He's more of a... No, I guess he's an uh, offensive defenseman. Goalies. Man, Leach is doing pretty damn good. Too bad I'm going to have to get rid of him. <laughs> Oh well. But I really want my goalie to like be I want Watner to be getting full full load. That's why he's not doing well in the playoffs, because you know, he's not used to playing every single game, which he should be. Dag gun it. He gone, okay. Artmeyer. Marku, Higgins, Oshi, Daryl Oshi, O Nylander, Ola Nylander, Roy Hainsley, okay. Scott Sasaki. Alrighty, let's go to the NHL Stanley Cup final. go up to here. Oh, for crying out loud. Can we win game oh we we won game one against Calgary, I guess. Goalies. Okay, good. Good. Yes. One more win, and we have eliminated the evil penguins. Let me see if I scouted any good goalies. So I've scouted almost everyone. Remove. Get out of here. Okay. Pinned. Oh, Lancet's a franchise player. Okay. Kovacs. Kovacs. 
Kovacs, where does he play? QMJHL and Lancet WHL. Okay, I might go with looking at Kovacs again. Don't scout Russia. Dummy. Uh, two weeks, yeah. Okay, let's finish this off. We're up three to one. We can do this. We can do this. Just have to put our mind up to it. Sayonara, Pittsburgh! Bam! Colorado Avalanche, Stanley Cup champions. We are the champions again. 115 million. Yay. More money. I should have just simmed up to here. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to have to be able to choose to scout anywhere else. Oh well, that's fine. I'm guessing McHugh is going to win though. The, 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 the con Smythe. I highly recommend you shut the hell up, Pro Scout. Or whatever your name is. Assistant GM. Let's see if I got a read on that goalie. Okay, I guess I can't. Thanks, game. Really make things easy for me. Oh, let's see if anyone retired. Barnaby. Marvin Dubnik. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Barnaby leaving the game. Did anyone on my team retire? I want to see progress reports. I want to see contracts, I guess. Let's see. View all contracts. Looks like... Did McDavid retire? He might have. Yeah, he's gone. McDavid's gone. What about McKinnon? Maybe they're in the system. Probably not. Oh, McKinnon's in the system. So David retired. McKinnon's not there either. Alright. Well that's good news, I guess. But David retired at the top of his game. And that frees up a lot of salary for me. <laughs> okay, and let's just go to Stat Central and check out the player awards. And be done with this. Colorado Avalanche, second year in a row. President's Trophy, Colorado Avalanche, third year in a row. Francis Campbell, Colorado Avalanche, third time in four years. And Pittsburgh again. But they didn't win the cup. Ha ha ha. Player Awards. Art Ross, Olsen again. Hart Trophy, Olsen, third year in a row. Norse Trophy, Hughes for the second year in a row. Lady Bing Olsen for the second year in a row. Calder Tukio. Ah, okay. Hans Mike. McHugh, yeah. Good pickup. Lebda? Damn it! It's because they shared. Because Shot Lautner and Leech shared duties. And get rid of Leech then. Ladeen. Kowalski. He won the McDavid Award. Morris Richard, Kemp. Okay. Well, then that is all for the 2034-2035 season of NHL 15 BGM Colorado Avalanche. Next time we will head to the 2035 draft. Four seasons left. See you next time.